for the fun part of demolding. I'm not quite sure how to go about this. This is my first time using this mold. So we'll just go around like that. Kind of helps break the seal. Really liking the shade of red. It took me a long time to find the right powders to get this color red. <laughs> I won't tell you how many powders and inks I have of different shades of red just to get this. Here's what the mushroom looks like. I should have mixed longer. You can see the powder, but that I think kind of gives it a more natural look. I'm planning on painting the circles. If you can see, the indents are really good. Loving that. You can see the, the edge there. So that'll help it, help it sit on there better. Here's the base. It's always interesting find uh, trying a new mold for the first time because you don't know how full to fill it. But I think next time I won't fill it as full. I haven't let it sit long enough so it kind of changed shape a little bit but that'll be okay I couldn't remember what time I mixed this so but I was too excited to wait any longer see wow that fits nice how stinking cute is that oh my goodness and I know if you go on the Let's Resin uh, Facebook page, they have some pretty cute ideas they did with these, with this mold. Um, I know one, they put a little chimney on it. I think they made it out of clay or something. Um, they did one that has, they put stuff in so there was an actual door right here. And I have another mold that... Uh, for making fairy houses I think I might try on that so but I'm definitely going to paint the dots white because that's just seems natural with the red top <laughs> but pretty cute I'm going to have fun creating with this mold and being that I did the first part of the video fast wanted you to have another look at the mixer. I'm so glad I uh, invested in this. I didn't pay very much for it. They have it for a really good price. But it comes with the two different, I guess you could call them paddles. Um, and it doesn't take long for it to charge. But it's not very loud either. And you can turn it up or down, just right here. That's, that's the fastest it goes. Yeah, absolutely love this. 
those of you that may have carpal tunnel or arthritis, this is going to be your new best friend. Um, I've already had carpal tunnel surgery years ago, um, but so doing the mixing and stuff tends to make my hands sore after a while, but this, I could mix for days. <laughs> so, but I hope you like this video. Absolutely love this mixer and the mold. Let's resin, you guys knocked it out of the park again. So, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. I'll be sure to answer them as soon as I see them. Have a great day. Take care.